So today's job is to sort out the lack of traction on Asia. So I've, I've fixed the lack of power now, um, but that, all that means is now that the wheels spin all the time. And I think the basic problem is, is that the suspension on the drivers, which is these two axles, is too soft, which means that more of the weight goes on to the front bogey and in particular this rear bogey so the this rear axle it's got very stiff springs compared to the to the drivers I'm using about the same amount of force but today what I'm looking at doing is putting some hopefully find some stronger springs for the driving axles um, so when 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 the loco has is on its wheels and there's water in the boiler and the, the springs are almost completely compressed so that they're virtually spring bound which is where all the coils are touching okay so one of the, the most important drivers of how strong a spring is is the um, diameter of wire used I think this is roughly half a mil uh, and then I think also the, the diameter of the, the coil has does have an effect. Um, so that's about five mil. Okay, so I've, I've had a rummage through my um, box of, of springs. Obviously things like this are a bit too big. Uh, things like that are just way too stiff. Um, I was wondering about using this as sort of a helper spring to go. That's that's the original spring, so a helper spring would go on the outside. But again, that's these are just too stiff. Uh, I've got these ones which is, are actually weaker than the the originals. Um, but what I actually in the end I've found is I've got this um, bag of one mil by six mil. Uh, so one mil wire by six mil diameter uh, springs which are I think stainless from China so um, that's that's the original and then that's what I'm replacing it with so you can see it's a much much chunkier spring so, so what I've done uh, on this on the, the the front or leading axle is I've put it in but there's there's no um preload so this this nut is just tight enough just to hold it in the low position so there's no slack um but it's also not being compressed at all so i'll just try and uh, demonstrate the difference so that's the rear with the original springs and that's the front with the much stronger springs subjectively it feels like these springs are just a little bit stronger than the ones ones on this rear axle, the the non-driven axle, which is what I want really because I think the, these springs are too strong compared to the soft springs that are on the drivers. Um, there is still some movement there, so I think with um, with a boiler full of water and the weight of the loco on them, it's not going to be just sat in the bottom position that the axle boxes will actually have some movement in them. So that's some um, all four springs um, in position now. But they, they they both move, which is you know they're not locked solid. So I think um, I'll call that good for now. Obviously, we need to do some uh, need to do some track testing now. So anyway, hope you found that interesting. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.